Right, wood wood kit for the wood dash kit for the Land Rover Defender. So this is something we featured in the vlog the other day. We now have developed our three types of wood kit. Now, thank you to everybody who gave your input and comments. So in the vlog, we just put this one here, which was just going to be our plain dash kit. Now let me explain. So the Land Rover Defender from factory. Um, didn't normally have wood, but on the deluxe models, you had two wood options. And we've done a video on that, and that is the walnut wood. That's a straight grain walnut, not like the old burl walnut that's all swoopy like you used to have in old British cars. Um, and this was the dark oak, and it is dark. It's like a Jacobean, something that should have been on the Mary Rose. Um, black. It is black. It's virtually ebony, isn't it? Um, so we, we're struggling to match that one, to be honest. So we, we struck, we, we've done better with this. So we've actually got some real walnut veneered wood that we've managed to source and put on the laser and get it as close as we can. Um, now originally we did this one and some people commented, you'll see when we go and put it in the car, that it goes over the dashboard where it says Defender. And some people said, well, why don't you put Defender in it? And, my friends at Land Rover would not appreciate me using their trademark, so I have to be careful and not do that. But it did get me thinking, there is no reason why people couldn't buy this Defender First Edition badge, and we have laser cut it such that... Can I pop this out of here? I think I can. Yeah. Gosh, that's a relief film. Mm -mm. We've made it such that it... You can stick the badge onto your dashboard and then stick that in so you keep your Defender word. In fact, that, that looks nicer than the Defender, arguably, in the dash. And then we've also gone for this one, which is more sort of country sports inspired with this sort of scroll graphic there that Ben has designed. And this little scroll around the edge and it goes over and it's got a little bit on the back. Um, so we are going to show how to fit this in the car and we are going to go for the scroll one, which is this one. So these are cut from, as I said, worn up veneer. Now our laser machine, where's my drill going? Our laser machine is not big enough to cut these in one piece. And also I think it might be a bit tricky to cut in one piece. So we have made these and we put a little joint here. Oh, turn that off. Oh, it's turned <laughs> off. Right. Um, we have put a little joint there and so there's three bits and they stick on and with every stick on bit we will take an alcohol wipe with us right so let's grab those bits there now we actually had one that's a slight reject that i'm going to fit in my car i don't need to try that we just it? we just got a bit i say we zach got a bit heavy handed with the sander so there we go i'm gonna have this one right we've got some light in here Right, so actually this is one cool thing about the new Defender. Um, this apparently is a structural bit of the car. It's part of the magnesium and they wanted it exposed to give it some functional look, apparently. So, um, it's not a thing. I just find it generally a bit white-ish. Um, so, we are, now we are going to do some more high-tech ones, Steve. For those that you want it gloss black with some etched graphics, we are going to do that. Ben's working on that. We don't see much of Ben, do we? He hides no. in the background, Ben, doesn't he? In fact, to be fair, he normally hides behind the lens of the camera, doesn't he? He's the other side of the veil. Photographer, arty, touchy feely person. Right, so you get one wipe, so you've got to do all three areas. Let me just reach across and do that last. Oh my goodness. <laughs> all right, there we go. All right, now. I'm not sure how I'm going to... Oh, God, I've lost it, Tyler. <laughs> Tyler knew I lost it years ago. Right. We could try and position them Stay together. What do you reckon? Let's see. Now, when we cut these on the laser, we try and keep the grain direction so it, and also the grain pattern so it continues. The way we do it, we can't get it 100% because we need a gap between the two. It's all going on today, Ty. We've got the drill going on. We've got my text messages boing in. So unprofessional. That's so unprofessional. Oh, look. We had a phone call in the video yesterday. How many... That's George texting me. <laughs> what is it with George? What is it with kids? They can't just send one text message 
and write like a paragraph. It's just sentence. Yeah. Yeah. Pilot. I know what you mean. Pilot. I can barely text. I can definitely. Uh -uh. 3M VHB. Do you know what VHB stands for, Tyler? Very. That's no. good. Oh. No. Nah. I only think it's a pretty worse now. Um. No, very high bond. Ah. Strength. All right. So let now, as with any self adhesive bit, you should really try or fit it to work out where you want it before you peel off the backing tape, which I haven't done. But I've done it a couple of times, haven't I? So I'm going to get that side right. And before I stick the middle, I'm going to get that side right. There we go. That's in. Right, shall I grab that light from the... Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let me grab that light. Tonight. Really, we need to take it outside. I found that trying to do it inside, it, it doesn't really look. How's that look on the camera? It looks good. Let's take it outside. But obviously you can't see the join. It's way behind there somewhere. And then go around. I'll stick the other bit on and we'll get the car outside and we'll show you the finished job. Right, come on in and have a look. So that's the view you get from the driver's seat there. And then if you look across, it scans across and you've got the, the wood insert there. And that runs all the way along there. And you can see we've got the scroll text is quite subtle and it matches the wood there on the other door so we are working on a left hand drive version we've only got the right hand drive version at the moment we've got someone testing the left hand drive templates in their car we'll work on that and get that left hand drive we'll work on the high tech ones and um, if we sell a few of these we are considering doing some other wood options in the same veneer to match inside i won't say exactly where yet but we've got some other ideas the other thing to mention is they are sort of eco, aren't they, Tyler? Because if you think about it, these are not, these are made from wood. They are more carbon neutral. They are manufactured by us in-house in the UK. So that should have a lower carbon footprint than some of our accessories, which is kind of cool. Right, there you go. Good luck with that.